Hey guys, welcome back, and if you are new, welcome, and it's so good to have you, and I hope you'll stick around to watch some more of my videos by hitting that little red subscribe button down below. So, welcome to Keep Wanting for Beginners 2017. If you missed my last video, make sure you go watch that because I show you where you get these lovely things right here and all of your coupons. So, today I'm going to teach you how to read a coupon. So, we don't commit no coupon fraud. So, let's jump into this. So, the first thing you want to look for is up here, manufacture coupon. That means that you can use this anywhere. Always check your expiration date, guys. Never use an expired coupon. Then, right here, this is your face value of the coupon. It says save 65 cents. And it is on one Clorox product. It does not have any exclusions, so you can use it on any one. You always want to read you right down here. It says limit one coupon per purchase. It does not mean one transaction. It means one item. And then also it goes on. It says limit of four identical coupons per household per day. So you could buy four of these in one transaction and use four of these coupons. That is what it means. The next one I want to go over with you guys is a buy one, get one free coupon. And again, manufacturer's coupon. Check your expiration date. Then check your face value, which is $5.99, your max value. It says, please fill in price. It wants the cashier to fill in the price. I have seen some cashiers take off the whole $5.99 when others will only take off $5 because that is what the product is on sale for. So, right here it says, buy one Tresemme Expert Shampoo and get one Tresemme Expert Conditioner free. So, you have to buy both products and it has to be the Expert line. And it excludes... Trial and travel size, so you cannot use those on those. Right here, it says limit one coupon per purchase. And then it says maximum of two identical coupons. So, in the same shopping trip. So, that means you can buy four of these and use two of these coupons, because you can only use two. The next one I wanted to go over is from... It's an internet printable, manufacturer's coupon, your expiration date, and this one says save $1 off two packages of hefty sliders, 10 count or larger. So we have exclusions in this one as well. And you have to buy two packages to get a dollar off. Now this one says limit one coupon per purchase, and then it says limit of Four. Let's see. Yes, limit of four per identical coupons. So you could buy eight of these hefties and use four of these coupons in one transaction. Always be sure to check your wordage and check your rules down here, guys. That is extremely important. Your next one right here is save a dollar on any two big stationary products. And you're either on any two, so there's no exclusions. You know, you can use on any, but you have to buy two big stationary products to get your dollar off. And again, it's a manufacturer's coupon. I forgot to mention this one, so I'm just going to go back and mention this really fast. It does have a Dollar General down here. So, some people may think this is a store coupon, guys, but it is not because up here it states manufacturer's coupon. If it was a Dollar General store coupon, it would say store coupon. And then, right down here, it would say redeemable only at Dollar General. So, say you wanted to use this at Walmart or CVS or anywhere you coupon at, and they're like, oh, you can't use this because it's a dollar general coupon. Pull up their coupon policy because it states they do accept manufacturer's coupon, and this is what this guy is. So, just show them. 
and the digital coupons guys you read them exactly the same follow your rules guys it's, it's very important to follow rules i can't stress that enough so guys thanks for watching i hope i've helped you a little bit if you have any questions about a coupon leave it in the comments below and i will be sure to get back to you on that another thing i wanted to mention real quick before i jumped off i got a question yesterday about stacking coupons you cannot stack say this was a big manufacturer's coupon and this was a big manufacturer's coupon i could not stack these together on two items but if this was a dollar general store coupon and i had a big you know manufacturer's coupon you can stack those as long as one state store coupon and one state manufacturer's coupon all right guys gonna wrap this up tune in tomorrow for some more learning how to coupon and guys don't forget to subscribe make sure you hit that bell so you're notified of every time i upload a video and happy couponing guys from my home to yours